Okay guys, I am not saying that we are the generation who has those fun stories about, you know, um, using outdoor plumbing, but we are the generation that can remember a time before the internet, so it's kind of the same. And we are not as removed from those generations as we would like to think we are. Guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna, and if you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four who comes here and shares some amazing products along our homeschooling journey, of which we are entering our eighth year for the 2024-2025 school year. Today, I am excited to come here and to share with you an opportunity to learn about some of the hidden systems that help our world function. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. Of course, I will have the things that I am talking about linked down below. Huge shout out to Timberdoodle for giving me an opportunity to review Hidden Systems. I am very excited about getting my hands on this product for a number of reasons. Where do I even start? One, it's not available until through the curriculum kits. You can totally purchase it. I think it's $23.99 on the website, but it is included in the 12th grade curriculum kits. Um, and as you guys know, again, if you were just listening, I do not have a 12th grader yet. I have an incoming seventh grader and an incoming third grader. The book is recommended for ages 12 to 18 or sixth grade through 12th grade. So we're a little on the early side, but that's okay. I love a good graphic novel. I love that the world has shifted where you can get a lot of information from something that is also visually really exciting. I like the snippets of info. I feel like that helps a lot of brains focus a little better, especially younger kids. And I am especially excited about the Hidden Systems book because I think it's so important to be having discussions with children about the way things work, helping your kids to understand that the water doesn't just come out of the tap. There is a lot of work that goes into that. Now, I know that my husband was especially excited about this. If you don't know, he is an architect. And so he deals with a lot of systems that aren't something people think about, but that we rely on every day. So for things like the internet, it's important to understand how it works. Here in Texas, we've had a few issues with our power grid. So it's nice to know how some of these things work. And I like the idea idea of getting our kids interested in the how and the why of the different systems that do show up in our everyday life. The car doesn't just start, there's an entire engine, tons of things behind the scenes that are making this happen. It doesn't just magically turn on the lights in the nighttime. What is going into the systems that make that happen? And I also love the aspect of career thought that goes into some of these things. Because there are so many times I will meet somebody, I will talk with somebody and be like, it's never occurred to me that that is a job. It has never occurred to me that there is someone out there whose job it is to do that thing. And Hidden Systems is an amazing way to get your kids interested in a vocational path that may be entirely new, entirely different, something that nobody has thought about. Because those hidden workers, and a lot of them came to light with the different global situations that have happened in the past few years, a lot of jobs were highly valued and highly prized that hadn't been given their day in the spotlight in the past. So I do love the idea of helping your children know, learn, and understand how things are happening. And I think that's important in many aspects of your life, but the internet is one of those things that like magically rains down from the sky. What do you mean you used to have to sit? You know what? I'm going to try to find a sound effect and insert it just to give you just a little bit of nostalgia. Um, I will try to get the dial-up sound. Like they have no concept that the phone used to be attached to the wall. Like you couldn't leave. You didn't know who was calling you. All of those things. I absolutely love it. And again, are we the generation that like had to take a horse and buggy? No. Are we the generation that like flying in an airplane was like a wild and crazy? No, no. But we 
that was our grandparents. It's not like, I mean, like my, my grandmother had outdoor plumbing. They didn't have AC. Like we, we will have stories to tell of our children of the MySpace and there was no Wi-Fi, and you had to, you know, the phone made that ee, horrible noise. Like we will have our things and they will be the people to make the new things or improve the things. So we will go from dial up to Wi-Fi all because one of our children will make the bold leap and choose a vocational path that will help them change the world. So I hope that you enjoy this look at Hidden Systems. I'm just, I'm so excited about this product. Again, thanks Temper Doodle. Okay guys, here's a look at Hidden Systems. Now, something that I'm actually kind of surprised about is that I thought this would be like, uh, paperback, but it is a very serious hardback book. It's got this nice uh, matte book jacket, which I really like. It's got this gorgeous, like if you take the book jacket off, honestly, I think it is more stunning as like a piece on a shelf or cabinet. It's, it's so pretty. Okay, so this book covers the hidden systems, the things we don't see, water, electricity, the internet, which is something our kids all need to know how it works, and the secrets behind the systems we use every day. Dan Knott is a cartoonist, illustrator, and educator living in Vermont, so he is more along the lines of comics and graphic novels. Again, gorgeous book, done well. Oh, it lets you know how he did his illustrations, which I think is really nice because a lot of our kids are uh, gifted artistically and do enjoy learning more about those kinds of processes. So Hidden Systems was planned out with pencil on printer paper, drawn with ink on Bristol board, and then lettered and colored digitally, which is really cool. Here's the table of contents. We've got introduction, like what makes a hidden system, lines of light, how do we picture the internet and what is it actually? The power grid, how do we power our world with electricity? If you're in Texas, this might help us understand all those warnings we get from ERCOT. Waterworks, what, where is our place in Earth's most important system? Conclusion, what are the futures we can imagine? Which for me, I absolutely love this part because it's going to get us thinking because our kids are the inventors of tomorrow. So we've got more hidden systems to come down or system improvements to make, and they're gonna be the ones to do it. Sketchbook in the back, which I think is really adorable that they've included. Author's notes and acknowledgements, and then a selected bibliography of where you can find more information or where they found this information. Now, we have a systems, like a little, a little uh, you know, guide to let us know what we're doing here. So we've got a bit of information, wireless data, which looks like the whole Wi-Fi symbol, electric current, spinning electrical generation, transforming current, no power, pollutions and toxins, moving water. Now, this is designed like a hubcap. I really love, love the illustrations in this book. It is so gorgeous. What is a hidden system? So let's talk about it. Now, we've got bright, bold coloring, gorgeous, simple drawings, which again, I think are really, really nice. There's a few more of like the drawings and grids, and this is just jam packed with information. This book is seriously so sturdy. It does come in the 12th grade kit, as I'm sure I've already said. However, it could be good all the way down. I think it's like early middle school if your kid has an interest. If they're so inclined, of course, give them anything anytime they're ready um, or even stretch them a bit. But I think this is such a fun way to learn about some of these things that are genuinely complex subjects. I mean, this is no small feat to understand how the internet grid or the power grid are working. Now, let me just show you this before I wrap it up. Now there's just basic, simple colors in here, nothing wild. Look at these. I mean, some of these drawings are, so, I'm always so impressed with people's just kind of natural gifts and things they've honed it. Look at this, look at that, it's so cool. Oh, and things we've already studied so we can go back and reference some of our prior knowledge on this. Let me show you, look at that, it's so good, it's so good. Moral of this story is it's really cool, it's really awesome, and I am excited to share this with my kids. Now, here we go. This is like a look at his sketchbook and how we got to this finished thing. It shows you the materials that he's using. If your kid is like, wait a minute, I could do that, we could do this. It gives you some of his like, 
way of thinking, which I think sharing this bit could be a wonderful way to expand or simplify doing doodle notes, things like that for your kids so that they aren't obligated to just sit. Look at this. So pretty. It's so pretty. Uh, so that they're not just sit writing, you know, word, 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 word. How can I make something that is visually appealing, entertaining to make that helps me retain and build on my knowledge? Look at this. It's so beautiful. Author's notes and acknowledgments. I love it so much. Selected bibliography. It is a stunning book. A bit more about the author who you can absolutely check out his website. It is such a stunning book. I think this is going to be a wonderful addition, one to my kids' knowledge, but two to our library shelves. I might remove the book jacket just because I love the look of this so much. And as you can see, this actually has all of the hidden systems. So we've got internet, we've got the water, we've got the underground. I Love it. I love this book. I'm really excited. I love things that can share different points of thought with my kids and get them thinking in a way that is going to expand their knowledge and it isn't kind of blocking them into the way it is. There's a perfect jumping off point for the way that they can make the world in the Hidden Systems book. As I'm sure I've already said, my husband is so excited because through architecture, he deals with so many of these systems. He's very excited to share these things with our girls. This is one of those things that is a perfect, perfect addition to helping your kids figure out what their vocation or career path may be. So check it out. It's a good quality. It is a really, really good quality book. So thanks for Timber Doodle, as always, for including wonderful things in their kits that really get me looking outside of what I'm already looking at. I never would have looked at this, but it's amazing. I hope that you found any of it helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Book is gorgeous. More importantly, maybe take this opportunity to be like, you know what, I don't know enough about this. Or go to, uh, you know, search out a book that's gonna give you a little more insight. And don't snooze on the graphic novel designs. They are not a less than, they are just a different, a different way to deliver very valuable information. So guys, don't forget, I love everything linked down below. Thanks again, Timberdoodle, for giving me an opportunity to get a look into hidden systems.